we will study about the electrodynamic or dynamometer type instruments. The construction is shown here. Uh, first, we will discuss the principle. The basic principle of dynamometer type instrument is that when current carrying moving coil is placed in a magnetic field produced by the current carrying fixed coil, a force is exerted on the coil sides of the moving coil and deflection takes place. And this deflection is uh, seen in the pointer and the pointer gives us the reading that the and this deflection is directly proportional to the current so jo bhi current yahan pe jo bhi measure karna hai aapko apply karna hai aur wo uski wajah se ye coil move hoga aur us movement ki wajah se pointer move hoga aur pointer hame bata dega ki current kitna flow ho raha hai in this way we can measure the quantity of current now construction may it is having two coils ek ko hum kehte hain fixed coil and the other one is the moving coil the fixed coil is uh, splitted into two equal parts which is placed parallel to each other as shown in the figure this is a fixed coil and this is another fixed coil and this is the moving coil let's study the working of uh, the this type of instrument uh, see a current is flowing through this this is the load current flowing from the fixed coil here and the same current will flow here uh, here the uh, in a moving coil the current is flowing which is proportional to the load voltage so a field called as fm yahan pe jo field aaya create hua is fm and because of uh, this another field is produced which is known as fr the field fr tries to come in line with the main field fm which produces a deflecting torque on the moving coil thus the pointer attached to the spindle of moving coil deflects so yahan pe jo field dono create hue hain usko align karne ke liye jo movement hoga ye moving coil mein uski wajah se deflection hoga the pointer is somewhere here the pointer will be Somewhere here, this is a ये pointer है. According to the alignment, the pointer is going to move. Deflection torque is uh, proportional to flux density into I two. I two is the current. This uh, current is uh, through moving coil. Moving coil. And I one is the current which flows through. So, uh, and TD is also proportional to I1 into I2. It is proportional to because I2, this I2 is proportional to the load voltage V, and uh, I1 is proportional to I. So, it is I into V, and I into V is power. in case of ac the uh, deflecting torque is vi cos theta which is true power and tc controlling torque is proportional to theta now the advantages of the system it can measure ac as well as dc it is easy to construct no hysteresis error uniform scale light weight consumes less power range can be changed easily the disadvantage of these system is high cost low sensitivity affected by stream magnets friction error is there low power factor